Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing something so crazy that no beauty guru has ever done before and that none of us really like to talk about and that is facetuning. You guys know I'm definitely the self-proclaimed queen of facetune. Let's be real, I am very, very, very good at it. And if you guys see me on Instagram, you would know that a sister loves a good tune. I just really, really love photo editing. And in my opinion, as long as you're not editing makeup actually on, photo editing and retouching is just as much of an art as actual makeup itself. I've literally become so known for facetuning at this point that not only do I edit my own photos, but so many different Instagram celebrities and YouTubers that you guys all know and love, I will not release any names, but also send me their photos to edit too. So half the time that you guys are seeing a really bomb photo on Instagram, especially if it involves makeup, probably went through me first. As well though, I also always get a ton of questions from you guys about different editing tips, tricks, and techniques. And a few days ago, I tweeted on Twitter asking, what if I did a video where I edited your guys' selfies and it got like 40,000 likes or something absolutely crazy. So for today's video, I tweeted asking you babes to sell me your unedited makeup selfies and something that you want fixed and call me crazy but I'm gonna face tune your guys' selfies. Just a quick little disclaimer before we get really into this video. If you're someone who does not believe or enjoy photo editing, please do me a favor and click the little X button right up here. We do not need you here and I definitely do not want any annoying comments. This video is just for fun. I want to make it very clear that like I said beforehand, I view photo editing as just as much of an art form as actual makeup itself, but I will never actually edit makeup on. When you're taking selfies, there's a lot of different variables that can really affect the final photo, such as lighting, the environment that you're in, the angle that the photo was taken at, and the actual camera you're using. So when I'm editing pictures, I only like to make the selfie that already exists a little bit better using photo editing techniques, but I never will actually edit makeup on and I never change my face to where I'm not recognizable anymore. For me personally, you guys know I love a good face tune moment and I am very, very open and honest about the fact that my photos are all very, very edited. But at the same time, you guys see me on YouTube every single week, unedited and raw, and also on Snapchat and Instagram stories all day long. And a lot of you met me in person too, so it's not like I'm really trying to hide anything. There is nothing wrong with fixing any insecurities, making your highlight really pop in a photo, or making your eyeshadow colors a little bit more vibrant, as long as you're not crossing any lines and as long as you're open and honest about it. So without further ado, all that is out of the way. Let's jump into the video. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump right in. The first response we have to this tweet is Sister Gabriel Zamora, another fellow beauty influencer, and he said, can you fix my flashback? Oh. No, unfortunately, if this were fixable, I wouldn't have had the scandal in the first place. Okay, so seriously now for the first time, Sister Zoe said, fix my nose please and thanks. And she sent in this selfie right here, wow. A sister looks beautiful and snatched. Let's go ahead and snatch this nose up just a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and open this photo in Facetune. And we're first gonna start off with Sister Reshape. Skinnier than Mariah. <laughs> I'm so funny, I love me. So first what I wanna do is go ahead and take this smooth tool and I wanna go over all of Sister Zoe's skin to kind of create an even base all throughout, especially when it comes to the nose region. Usually you guys know I like to just tab everything in because if it looks too smooth, it looks very, very fake and crusted and busted and you're gonna get clocked real fast for sister tuning. And even though I like to edit my photos, the house down boots. <laughs> <laughs> I like to look them as real as possible. Hated that. Next, I want to do is grab the tones tool and then grab Hicker. And I want to pick the lightest tan color right on the center of her cheek. And I'm going to go back to tones and then I'm going to lightly tap on this light tan color all around her cheek area and onto the side of Zoe's nose bridge. So next, I want to do is go back into tones and grab the picker. And then I'm going to take a dark kind of brown shade and I'm going to pick it right from Zoe's contour over here. And I'm going to use this color to now sketch in a new nose bridge, if that makes Makes sense. So basically you guys know what I like to contour my nose because I definitely have a very, very large sister schnoz that I like to sister snatch. That was a lot. Whoa, I hated that. <laughs> and the closer you draw the two lines together, the smaller your nose is going to look. I'm gonna go back into Zoe's nose with this dark brown color and I'm gonna sketch in two nose contour lines. And obviously this is gonna look very, very intense, but we're gonna blend them out. So now that I turned poor Zoe into an anteater here, I'm gonna grab the eraser tool and I'm gonna lightly tap over those two lines to soften everything out and make it not look absolutely crazy. And then once again, smooth tool to kind of blend everything out. So now that we have the contours and the brightness built in, we definitely need to add some highlights to really provide a contrast and finish off this sister nose snatch. What I wanna do is grab the tones tool once again, as you can see, this is a very, very similar theme all throughout. And I'm gonna go to palette right over here. And what I wanna grab for Zoe's skin tone is a shade right in between yellow and orange, very like goldy shade. And then right up at the top, I wanna drag this color picker to like an off white type of color. Then I'm gonna go right in and tap right on the tip of the nose and then kind of right down the bridge, focusing it mostly right in between the eyebrows. 
All right, guys, are we ready for the iconic before and after? <gasps> Here we go. Before and after. <gasps> Ooh, literally so good. It looks like she can barely even breathe. You guys know that is always my goal when it comes to editing my nose contour. And as well, nose contour is one of those things that is very much affected by lighting. Sometimes it can look really, really bomb in the right lighting. And sometimes if you're in very shadow lighting, it can look literally the worst. So I just fix up Zoe's nose nice and good, made it sister snatch. And I think she will definitely love this. And for all of you guys out there, if you're like me and you're on a budget saving for a sister house, that is how you get a rhinoplasty with Facetune. Let's move on to the next sister selfie. Zoe obviously want to work with her nose done. Hello. Literally same girl. So I'm gonna move on to somebody else who wants a different feature fixed. Ooh, okay. This tweet is from Sister Emily and she says, I wore my makeup for an hour when this photo was taken. The foundation was a little bit splotchy, but the vibrancy in the eyeshadow isn't as much as I wanted. Also do anything to make it look less rough. Literally me with every selfie ever. And she attached this photo for herself. Oh my God, hello girl. You look so beautiful. Your eyeshadow looks amazing. It looks like this is actually a recreation of my Coachella look. So definitely down to help with Sister out with this. Let's pull this into face tune and see what we can do. So in this photo, Emily said that her foundation was a little bit splotchy but in my opinion, I think it looks really, really beautiful and very natural looking. I definitely want to focus in on the eyes for this because she said that she wishes the eyeshadow was a little bit brighter and more pigmented. So I'm just going to zoom right in. And when it comes to working with the eyes, the first thing that I always like to do is do the details tool. I'll just tap the little triangle right down here. And then I'm going to go in and lightly tap over both of the eyes. This really brings up the saturation. It makes the black of the eyeliners definitely darker, makes the eyes pop a little bit and just makes the eyes in general more eye catching if that makes sense. <laughs> Whenever I'm editing an eyeshadow, especially colorful look on Facetune, I always like to do it in the same exact order that I would apply it in. So for this, I'm assuming, because I did this as well, that she started off with the colors in the crease. So what I wanna do is grab the tones tool right down here, and I'm gonna start off with the right eye, or I guess her left eye, hello. And I'm gonna grab a yellow tone first, and I'm gonna grab it right over here. And I'm just gonna start off by lightly tapping right in that region. Then I'm gonna go right in with orange, tapping it right next door. Same thing with the red right next door as well. And then already it's looking so much brighter, but let's be real, it definitely looks a little bit fake right now. So I'm assuming she was going for a half cut crease. So what I'm gonna do is grab the eraser tool and zoom way in. And I'm gonna lightly scrub over that crease region to make sure that it still looks nice and cut. And then I'm gonna zoom out and lightly tap over that entire eye to keep the shadow that we blended in, but only make it like 50% there, if that makes sense. So it's just a little bit of a boost, but not to the point where it's like fake and looks like a literal rainbow on the eye. So before I go into the eraser tool, just like I did in the other eye, there's one really important thing that I wanna note that I catch myself personally doing all the time and is a major, 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 major face tune no-no that is gonna give away the fact that it's edited real quick. So whenever you're taking a selfie like Sister Emily or like me, if you turn your head to the side and you take a selfie, of course we get that good jawline, we get that good highlight, but whatever eye is facing away from the camera is never going to be as bright as the other eye because there isn't light hitting it. So you can help it out a little bit, but definitely be careful and use it at your own risk. <laughs> so as you can see, before and after, before and after, definitely helped out the pigmentation a little bit without going insane like we did in the other eye. I think I'm happy with that. So next in this makeup tutorial, if I'm remembering correctly, I cut the crease using concealer and then glitter. And I'm assuming Emily did the same exact thing. So I wanna make that glitter on her lid a little bit brighter. If you zoom in, as you can see right here on the lid, you can see that she has some specks of light, which tells me she did put a glitter there, but I'm assuming the lighting she was in didn't exactly pick it up. So let's bring it back a little bit. I'm first gonna grab the tones tool once again, go into palette and a light yellowy kind of orange shade and go all the way over to the left at an off white. And then I'm gonna sketch that in right in between the lashes. A really important technique when you're face tuning is always to tap things in as opposed to scrubbing it on, especially when it comes to eyeshadow stuff because if you're wearing lashes, the last thing that you wanna do is cover up those lashes with whatever fake glow you're putting on because it's gonna look really, really fake and really, really bad. I think I'm definitely happy with that and it made the lid much nicer and brighter. Definitely the glitter looks like it's actually there now. And while we're still on that kind of light yellowy white shade, just like I did on Sister Zoe with the nose snatching, I wanna add a little bit of that shade right here into the inner corner to make her inner corner highlight a little bit brighter. And then same thing right up here on the brow bone to really intensify that highlight and add a little bit more contrast and attention to the eye. Once again, eraser tool, just lightly tapping over that and 
that looks so snatched. Similar to real eyeshadow, the last step of editing is always going to be the blacks or the dark shades. And you always do this to make sure that nothing gets really, really muddy. I'm gonna grab tones one last time and grab black and zoom all the way in. And I'm just gonna start lightly packing this right into the crease to kind of add a little bit more dimension onto that outer corner. And then as well, right underneath that eye region, because as you can see, there's a little bit of lightness in her crease that she probably did not want there. And then tapping it in. And clearly that looks a little bit crazy and ridiculous. So once again, grabbing the eraser tool and just lightly tapping over everything. Thing to keep a little bit of that dimension, but just erasing it so it still looks a little bit natural. And last but finally not least, when it comes to editing the eyes, this step is totally optional. I personally love to do this in all my photos. It's really what gives me that doll-like look that a lot of you guys love. It's going to be to brighten the actual eyes. So in this photo, Emily has beautiful bright blue eyes, but clearly she's wearing pretty big lashes and black eyeliner. So they did get a little bit lost inside. What I wanna do is grab the tones tool once again, and I'm gonna dip into kind of like an aqua shade, then zoom into the pupils, and I'm I'm just gonna kind of place that color right in the bottom in a little bit of a rounded U shape. There it is, girl. So good, hello. She's literally staring into my soul. Love that. And then of course, eraser tool, tap over it so it's not too intense and too scary. All right, I think we're ready for before and after numero dos. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we were able to do to Emily's rainbow eyeshadow look. We have the before and the after. Literally so cute. As you can see, we did not actually edit any makeup on, just edited what was already there to make it a little bit more intense, more vibrant, more eye-catching, and I think this looks so beautiful and so stunning. And this is actually like the same exact technique that I use to edit my Coachella rainbow makeup look photo. So if any of you guys recreate the look, try this out and try any of these techniques with your eyeshadow looks, I guarantee it'll make your makeup look so much more beautiful and so much more popping for your sister selfies. All right guys, so let's see who our next victim is. We already did nose contouring and also the eye region. So I think I next want to focus on skin. You're kidding, hello? Brittany J said, give me a snatch nose and a blinding highlight. Also, this was a recreation of one of your looks. You guys are all so pretty and talented. What the heck? Oh, here's a skin tweet. Okay, Leah said, can you fix my skin, please, sister? Make it look snatched. Let's see. Hello. It literally already is snatched. Okay, not gonna help her out, but this does bring up a really good point that I actually wanna mention when it comes to editing skin. And once again, this is something that I catch myself doing a lot. One of the biggest no-nos of Facetune ever is over editing the skin. There's a smooth tool and there's a super smooth tool. Smoothing can only go so far. Obviously, I always like to start out with the smooth tool, just lightly tap over everything to kind of even out the base. I personally love the look of a little bit of skin texture, even if there's a few imperfections in there, because I think it makes the photos look a lot more raw and a lot more real. And if you're editing, a lot more believable. Okay, let's see who we can actually help out here. Hello. Okay, this is a selfie from Sister Anarchy. I love her. I follow her on Twitter. Hey girl, what's up? And she sent me this beautiful post makeup selfie with this beautiful pink wig on. Hey girl, love that. And she actually gave us no comment. So I want to take this selfie first and focus on the skin because there's a few things that I want to change to make this photo just a little bit better. All right, so we have this photo up and ready to go. And the first step is always going to be the smooth tool. She literally has almost perfect skin, but she does have a few blemishes right here on the cheek that we can definitely get rid of super easily. So I'm going to grab the patch tool, click that, go right over the pimple area, and then bring it to an area right next door in the contour just to get rid of it and click the check mark and bam gone. Wow. So easy. So beautiful. Gonna go right over this. Same exact thing. Click the little check mark. Wow. Blemishes. Never heard of them. For me personally, when I'm editing photos, if I have a really bad pimple, that's always the absolute first thing to go. I'm very, very insecure about my acne and I know a lot of you guys out there are as well. But if you're able to rock your acne and feel beautiful and confident with it, go you, major props. Unfortunately for myself, cannot say the same, but if any of you guys wanna know how to edit it out, patch tool, that's how. So now we go back into our normal, regular routine. So going with the sister smooth tool, just to kind of blend everything together and just give you a nice and even base. As you can see here, if I click the before and after, it still keeps a lot of that skin texture and a lot of the dimension of her face but it does blend out some of those harsher areas and contours, making everything look really, really beautiful and more smooth. Similar to the eyeshadow, I now wanna grab the details tool and I wanna just detail over any features such as the eyes, the eyebrows, and the lips because of course we did smooth out the skin and I don't wanna lose any of that dimension. And now it's time for the tone tool and this is literally like my all-time secret to getting perfect skin and face tune. Can't believe I'm about to give you guys this full-on secret, but you're welcome. I love doing charity work. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the tone tool and I just wanna even out Anarchy's skin tone and then recontour it so it looks literally so incredibly snatched. Y'all are about to be so shocked. I'm gonna grab the picker tool and I'm gonna grab this kind of lightish yellow shade right here underneath her eye. And I'm gonna use that in tones and I'm gonna kind of brush that over this entire region. Do not change the color. I'm gonna grab that same exact shade of yellow and I'm gonna pop that right in the center of her forehead. 
right over her upper lip region as well. If you're like me and you're a man, you probably have a five o'clock shadow. And if you're like Anarchy and you have beautiful big lips, usually your lip tends to flip up, which gives a natural shadow in this region. So sometimes it's really good to put a highlighter there to kind of counteract that so it doesn't look like a really weird and gross five o'clock shadow that most of us probably do not want. I'm also gonna pop a little bit of this yellow right here, right kind of on the jawline region, right in between like this contour area. And then similar to every other process so far, I'm gonna grab the eraser tool and I'm gonna lightly tap over that entire region to keep the color that I just added, but make it a little bit less intense so it's not like the most and like literally bright yellow. Okay, so we just highlighted Anarchy's face by adding a lot of yellow all around, but she is a woman of color and the last thing that I wanna do is lighten her skin tone or give her a flashback merry moment. That is so not the move for today. So now I wanna counteract those highlights by contouring a little bit. I'm gonna grab the tones tool once again and I'm gonna grab a shade kind of on the outer perimeter of her face right up up in here by her hairline and I want to use that brown shade with the tones tool to kind of add in and intensify a little bit of those contours to really bring a lot more dimension back. So I'm going to place that right in the hollows of her cheekbones kind of right along her nose bridge similar to sister Zoe from beforehand and also right up in that hairline region to make the forehead look nice and snatched. When you're editing too before you go ahead and save or erase anything it's really important to check the little blue button down here and click your before and afters to see where your color actually is. As you can see right here I accidentally put a little bit of brown in Anarchy's hair and I definitely did not want that there. So I'm going to grab the eraser tool and just go right over that region because that looks crusted busted and I actually have some brown up here as well. This contrast it looks absolutely beautiful. Once again, like I said, I'm gonna take the eraser tool though and kind of soften it a little bit because let's be real, it's looking a little bit harsh and I don't want her to look crusted, just a little bit more chiseled. All right guys, I think we are ready for our before and after of Sister Anarchy. Ready, here we go. We have the before and bam. The after, oh my God, literally so snatch. As you can see by using the tones tool and the details tool and the smooth tool, you're able to really even out that skin tone and make it look so much more smooth while still keeping all of the different highlights and contours and looking beautiful and defined. These are the techniques that I use in all of my photos to get beautiful skin. So hopefully you guys were able to follow that. I know it's a little bit complicated, but I think Anarchy is going to absolutely love this. All right, sisters. So those those are three photos of you guys all completely edited. We started off with the sister nose contour, eyeshadow, and then also skin all throughout. And I feel like that hits a lot of the different points that really go into my face tuning routine. But this video would only be fair if now I have to face tune myself and show you guys one of my before and afters. I've done this a few times before, but let's be real, I definitely face tune a lot. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of look through some of the photos that I've been taking recently and show you guys what it takes to go from regular photo to Instagram ready. Let's go through my camera roll and find a good and fresh sister Instagram selfie. So, as you can see, I have 8,201 photos. I definitely need to go through and clean those up soon. A lot of them are selfies. <laughs> oh, okay, I have these selfies from Shake Shack a few days ago. I took them while I was eating fries. A good and fresh photo shoot. Let's see. Of course, you have to pick out the one that I want first, and there's, oh God, a lot of them. Oh my God, the lighting in Shake Shack is literally the worst. Hello? Wait, that's not hate. Shake Shack, I love you. Please sponsor me. <laughs> Okay, I just scrolled through all these and the bad lighting and the bad outfit choice, not exactly my favorite, not even gonna lie, but I think that I finally decided on this photo to possibly be grammed. Don't even know, might be doing this editing all for nothing, but I'm gonna pull this one right into face soon and I'm gonna show you guys the full on process. I'm gonna speed through this because it's definitely gonna be a lengthy process, but you guys get to watch, enjoy. Literally 20 minutes later, that was definitely a long face tuning process, but this photo had a lot of saving to do, let's be real, and I probably will even go back into this later on, and I think I'm ready to show you guys this iconic Sister James Charles Instagram ready, before and after, ready, we have, of course, the before that you guys all saw, and one, two, three, bam. 
The after, hello. There was definitely a lot that I wanted to do. If we look at the before and after, specifically on the face, yeah, sister needed a little bit of work. There was this really weird and very, very dark line going down the entire side of my face. I have no idea what that was. I'm assuming it was the shadow from either like a window pane or something. Lord knows that's not usually there, at least. I hope not. <laughs> I did do a little bit of reshaping. You guys know I'm very, very insecure about the size of my forehead. So brought her down just a little bit. And then for the most part, I just evened up my skin tone using the same techniques that we used on Sister Anarchy. Slimmed down the nose bridge just a little bit using the same techniques we used on Sister Zoe. And then detailed the eyes like we did on Sister Emily. That was super simple. And then I finished it off using a not so simple filter. It does add a really, really cool effect. And I think that that is the finished photo. And I really like how this turned out. I was a little bit spooked at first, not gonna lie. But I think this might be Instagram ready. Maybe. <laughs> All right, sisters, that is all I have for this video today and not even gonna lie I just had so much fun for the past few hours editing all these pictures face tuning is one of my all-time favorite pastimes so hopefully you guys all watch this to learn some helpful new tips and tricks that you can use next time you're editing your Instagram pictures I want to say a major thank you to Zoe Emily and Anarchy for all sending in their unedited photos today it sounds kind of cheesy to say but honestly posting an unedited photo online these days is very 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 brave you guys know like I was talking about earlier literally everybody edits their photos at this point and it's something that I really really love to do but hopefully learn some helpful tips and techniques and you guys get to see that I never really like to edit on makeup or really change myself much. I just like to edit and enhance what's already there to take your photos from pretty good and really, really beautiful to like literally the best ever, have everybody shaking and having wigs snatched left and right. Also side note that I've been thinking about this entire video. Like I was saying beforehand, it is obviously okay to edit to fix any insecurities that you may have or just to make your photos look really, really bomb. But it is so important that you guys love yourselves, love your bodies and love the person that you are. And of course, if you wanna change that, that is a very, very personal decision, but you should definitely not rely on Facetune to be someone that you are absolutely not. As I was looking through all the pictures that you guys sent in today, I was continuously shook like every few seconds of how beautiful you all are, of how talented you all are. And I just wanna say a cheesy moment that I do love you and you guys are all so incredibly beautiful. And this this video was 100% strictly all for fun. Please do not go crazy with these tips and techniques. I just want to show you guys a little bit more about what I do, but it is important to love yourself. I love myself with or without Facetune, Reshape, the Tones tool, the Details tool, the Smooth tool, and everything in between. And I really hope you guys do as well. All that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's brand new video, and if you learned something new, give me a thumbs up down below and show your support. It really does mean a lot. And also leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite technique that I taught you guys was today. If you have not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below. Come join the sisterhood. It is a pretty, pretty lit time and also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter they're both just James Charles and my Snapchat for more behind the scenes type stuff is James Charles an extra S after Charles. This video is sister shout out goes to sister Migs. Thank you so much babe, for always following and supporting you know I love you so 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 much and I know this video is coming out a week later but when I posted this it was your birthday so happy birthday girl love you the most and if you'd like to be the next video sister shout out make sure to always reach your video links Whoa. Whoa. Retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. I need to go to bed. All right, sisters, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.